I had to do this even though I'm very late on it. I think this was released at the end of 2021. This horrifying vision is uh, the overlord of Thatcher's tech base. Uh, this is a wad by Jim Purvis and uh, it's got music by Barry Topping, uh, Epoch. It's very 1980s Britain themed. I don't know a whole lot about it apart from that, uh, but we'll give it a go. Uh, I like that. That's Big Ben in the distance there, uh, with the rest of the uh, Doom 2 city textures. And uh, <laughs> what was that? That was uh, Berserk picked up with the message Thatcher. Um, I think that my main character is uh, probably a down on his luck miner. Snatch some milk. <laughs> Although those will be our health potions. Uh, so, uh, Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher uh, was infamous for ending uh, free milk in primary schools, I think it was, well. We'll see... We'll see how much... How much other theming there is. There's, uh, there's loads of fosters there. Um, there's a bit of a blue theme to this, isn't there? The uh, cacodemon and the menus and even the cans. Stony sound effect. Whoa, okay. Whoa! <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> this is going in a bit of a different direction from what I expected. We're... We are not in, uh... North of England 1980. But in, in some kind of, uh... Futuristic environment where... Subject... Maggie is attempting escape. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, I can't. Yes, I can. Thanks for doing the job for me. Now, are they are these just voodoo dolls? This is uh, yeah, that's a yes. Yeah, astonishingly, this is uh, boom compatible. Uh, it's all just uh, texture replacements and object replacements. Where am I supposed to be going? Just exit over there. sort of icy theme to this. Well, that one's out of order. How about this one? Uh. Express elevator to the United Kingdom, also known as the Tenth Circle of Hell. All right, then. Whoa, look at that fire blue faces. Oh, dear. Well, uh, we've got a lot to talk about uh, while waiting for this descent, don't we? So, uh, uh, Margaret Thatcher was the Prime Minister when I was born. I wasn't really aware of her. I was born in 1984, and I'd only just become aware of who ran the country and everything, just uh, as she was kicked out and John Major took over. So, I never experienced uh, pre-Margaret Thatcher Britain and uh, was able to compare how bad she was. <laughs> Prime Ministers used to hang around for a very long time. Uh, Margaret Thatcher lasted a couple of decades, I think, and then there was John Major, and uh, he was around forever. He resigned at one point, but nobody noticed, so he just uh, kept doing the job. Uh, he was eventually ousted by Tony Blair, who again hung on for ages, and then we had Gordon Brown, David Cameron, Theresa May, Boris Johnson, and hopefully somebody else by the time you're reading this video. Um, and that's all been in just one decade. They've got no staying power now. Uh, I'm just gonna jump off here. Oh, my stomach went weird. I'm okay. All right. Okay, Thatcher's Tech Base by Doom Daddy Digital. Directed by Jim Purvis. Music by Barry Topping. Sprites by Rafael Batista de Lima. I'm very sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, artwork is uh, Corlo Art. Voice acting by Mark McLeod Findlay and Margaret Thatcher. Mark McLeod, Ben Andrews, and Ross uh, Foobister, Foobister uh, did the uh, quality assurance. And this game is dedicated to everyone that Thatcher hated, and everyone who hated Thatcher. Ah! Yeah, so, um... <laughs> 
No penny on this video. It's a bit too scary. All right, entering Thatcher's tech base. This will be the uh, that that was the sort of the pre-credits. The dead speak. The world has heard a mysterious broadcast of threat of revenge in the sinister voice of the late Baroness Margaret Thatcher. Faced with the return of one of humanity's greatest threats, you have no choice but to head to the tenth circle of hell, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, currently, and investigate the underworld fortress known as Thatcher's Tech Base. All right, so this must be the the main event. We've got uh, 1,286 monsters. Let's make a start. Oh, you like your slow lifts, don't you? Oh, look at that, the Union Jack on the door. Ah, at last, okay. Projectile weapon. Oh, that didn't last long, did it? I do like this uh, twin guitar music. Um, I'm just waiting for one to come round the corner first. Hopefully he'll get in the way. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much a. Uh, red keyed uh, switch, I think. Oh, you've got the health and safety <laughs> up here. Light blue key, okay, we're going that granular, are we? Labour isn't working. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's major uh, backlash to Margaret Thatcher, especially among uh, the mining industry. She she uh, stamped down a lot of uh, strikes and uh, really made things worse for everyone in that industry. Oh, fuck I. <laughs> that was uh, that was uh, oh, it's uh, kill at some. Um, what, what is the cover of that? I think it's Women in Uniform, the Iron Maiden uh, single that that's a cover for. And I think that... Do I remember some story that it wasn't going to be Margaret Thatcher, but then there was a big uproar that... the rumour that they put Margaret Thatcher being killed on the album cover, so they just did it. Some pretty uh, detailed one unit wide wire here. She's, she's mentioned, uh, well... Let's do that again. Did my job for me that time, that's great. Alright, let's be a bit faster this time. We only have to be lucky once. Pure evil. Not you again. Alright, so that's the way out. I'm now dithering around waiting to be shot by a chain gun. Oh, my build. <laughs> she 
she was mentioned in the Sabaton song. That was uh, what I was uh, going to say before I died. Uh, when uh, in uh, Back in Control, it's, it's called about the Falkland Islands, where Joachim sings it. Orders from the Iron Maiden gets the islands back. Go too low, but uh, uh, the, the act which actually made her sound quite uh, strong and <laughs> strong and appealing. Uh, but that's what Sabadon can do. They can. Uh, I saw someone comment that they can make you feel patriotic for countries you've never even heard of. <laughs> Cigarettes are the uh, are the big health item. Oh. Wow, did she really die in 2013? It's been that long. Well, time flies when you're enjoying yourself. Alright. Oh, Winchester, okay. I, I thought that was the super shotgun, but uh, no, this is a new weapon. Where am I going? There's got to be a way into the centre of this hedge maze. I'll zoom in a bit here. Now, there was a way into the centre of this hedge maze, I just... Uh, I was certain there were more monsters than that. Oh, and that was a secret area. Okay. I was just wondering if I'd missed something. Okay, so that's uh, switched that uh, Union Jack switch. Let's stop wasting our time here. <laughs> Ding dong, the witch is gone. Uh, that was another thing. They, um, the week she died, uh, people and uh, started this huge campaign to buy up loads of copies of uh, Ding Dong the Witch is Dead on the, on streaming services so that the radio would be forced to play it as the top song of the week. And it, it worked! And, and the BBC copped out a bit by just playing a short segment of it and then giving up. Uh, poll tax as well. There were some things that uh, she did that were interpreted or interpretable fairly as uh, uh, basically a poll tax. No, uh, <laughs> a better bit rip off. Then fuck off, you nosy twat. That's. Um, fear of uh, people on benefits, or welfare, as you call it in the US, is pervaded in Britain to this day. There are, uh, there are people who simultaneously hate immigrants for stealing all the jobs and going on welfare. it's blue because of the Tory party. What am I thinking? I've been in America too long, uh, so I didn't immediately make the connection. Uh, America's colours are uh, backwards from Britain. And I would... I would have some backwards from a lot of the rest of the world. Because red's usually a leftist colour, isn't it? You would think so. Anyway, uh, Tory party in Britain. So, so it's themed as blue. Oh, fuck, guys. 
<laughs> oh, that's her spitting image puppet. Now, as far as uh, spitting image was a, a program in the 1980s, which did uh, impressions of uh, celebrities, uh, Chris Barry was one of the impressionists on it before he became uh, really well known for Red Dwarf. And uh, that was Margaret Thatcher's puppet, and uh, it's actually a lot less scary than some of the others. Uh, where, 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 where? Let's go along here like a normal person. All right. Can I squeeze onto here? Oh, um, sorry, I'm going to cheat a bit there. All right. Let's do this again. Whoa, okay, that didn't work out well for me. Oh, ev <laughs> is everything going to be blue? Well, at least that uh, solves my color blindness issue. I didn't quite get to see what was behind that closing door. Oh, that's a that's a serious Margaret Thatcher I can have seen. Uh, no doubt I'll be uh, encountering that later. Got some more firepower now, at least. Where's that chain gunner? Hmm. We'll find him later. Oh, uh, that's not the way. Oh, this chain gun's a bit better than the default uh, Doom 2 one. What is that? <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, did they really say that? Protect and Survive was the big uh, nuclear war uh, poster campaign. This is very uh, E1M1, just that little turn there. Oh, this is very E1M1 as well! Isn't it weird how something as innocent as a corridor bent a certain way is so iconic? That's a secret. Oh yeah, images from uh, the... Actually, I'm not entirely sure where that frame's from. Jesus Christ, you're, you're, you're not holding back, are you? Keep calm, carry on. Uh, irritating uh, slogan that was used everywhere. Uh, not genuinely. Uh, it, was, it just revived over... Uh, I suppose it was revived around 2010, I want to say, and then everyone was putting on everything. But it was never used in Britain. It was this, it was this uh, backup campaign that they had in case uh, Britain was ever invaded by Germany. Which it wasn't, uh, thanks to. Uh, Thanks to us and uh, America. Thank you. Uh, thank you for fighting fascism. Could you start again, please? Uh, there it is. Can we get up? No, I can't get right up there. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the geese are everywhere. Oh, fuck I. I assume that's uh, Jim Purvis just uh, providing uh, some voice himself. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher is not happy with me for uh, daring to find this exit. What, can I just go over? Now, I was uh, wondering if something absolutely terrible was going to happen. Uh -huh. So how? Oh, all right. Oh, fuck I. All right, so now let's do this secret. That's about far enough. I don't actually know uh, how... I don't know what line triggers that secret. Never have. All I know is that it's, it's, it's somewhere around there or there. All right. A pint of that was a pint of Guinness there. I remember this poster, New Labour, New Danger. And I remember being kind of terrified of it because I was five years old and uh, very susceptible to propaganda. I thought that this be this uh No. I thought there, the, uh, there must be this uh, evil demon-faced man who wants to take over Britain. But uh, I then I saw a poster that said something like the conservative uh, negative campaign is just to cover up what they know about themselves. And that was when I started to wonder about politics. All right. Oh yeah, radiation. Yeah. Nobody uses that warning in a sincere way in Doom. That's the first time I've seen it. Because <laughs> usually you'll get the damaging floor, uh, but uh, in this case you just get the warning that the area is radioactive. Oh, I should have known. Oh, PVC's on there. But that's the new logo. I don't think they had that logo in the 1980s. It was still the, uh, the coloured blocks. Probably even before that. Okay, there's a lot in here. Well, that was less traumatic than I thought. Let's go in here. Oh, that's an arch vial noise. I heard it. Alright, I'll leave that alone just now, because I want to go to the radioactive area before this uh, suit runs out. This is a much better minigun than the one in Doom 2. What's that done? Oh, um... Oh. Well, what's the point of having a glass window if it doesn't stop anything? That's... there is an arch file around here. Unless he just wandered through, am I going to be that lucky? Maybe he did. Is that PlayStation? <laughs> What's scrolling past here? Oh yes, the, it's the crest. 
Super shotgun, okay, that's more like it. Oh, it is this Doom PlayStation. But the screen is of Doom 64, that's interesting. Well, it looks like we'll be using this. Actually, you know what? I'll take that. What was I going to say over here? Oh yeah, Doom on the PlayStation was the first full copy of Doom that I owned. And I didn't really understand what it was doing, because it seemed all the... It, uh, it did uh, just jumble up all the levels that I thought I knew from uh, the little I knew of Doom 1, the Sherwood episode, and Doom 2. And I didn't like that it had this uh, weird, creepy atmospheric soundtrack instead of the, the you know, uh, at Doom's Gate and all the classic <laughs> background musics we get with the PC, but more recently I've... Uh, Come to appreciate it as something different from the uh, from PC Doom. Wow! Wow! Oh, I'm st I was stuck on this decoration. Right, give us a kicking. There we go. Oh! Oh, hang on. I'm okay. What did I? What did I just get? Hold on. I got. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, the Trident launch. Oh, wow. Uh, Trident is uh, Scotland's nuclear submarine. Uh, I'm going to have to be uh, more cunning. Oh, can't run away, okay. You know in the JRPGs when you try to escape and your characters just run on the spot for a while? Uh, that's what I was doing against that door. Say ten up there, and should I be worried? Huh, a bit the worse for wear after that. I heard a revenant. Oh, nice uh, skin texture on those uh, pillars. <laughs> so I need more. Uh, I, I really need more health before even attempting this. Did that get me anything? I feel it must have done something, but I didn't. I didn't see. Hmm. Oh wow! The lost souls just burst instantly. That's great. That's the correct amount of cell health for the lost soul.
Now, what's that? I don't, I don't actually recognise that. There's a Terminator behind it. Well, we're doing a little better than we were, but not by much. Dark blue key for that door, okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> huh? I see 11 Nazis sitting at a table. Oh, what's that symbol now? Whoa! So, where do I go now? Was that just a weird little uh, excursion? Hmm. All right, then. Demons normal as well, or was I just lucky? Someone hit scan me. Hit scum? I don't know. That, that phrase just really disturbs me now. I don't even like it when people joke about it. Like, uh, the, when we... At my workplace, we were uh, writing something to sell large appliances and somebody handed out t-shirts that says, Make appliances great again. Uh, uh, that, and that just made my skin crawl. It's like making jokes about Arbeit Macht Fry. Uh, what did I... What did I do or not do in here? Yeah, so that t-shirt just went into a donation bin on the way home and... Uh, oh, now, now, now some poor unfortunate has uh, had it in their wardrobe instead. Oh, well. Oops. Oh, no, it's fire blue. Just wanted to know if there was uh, any way out of here. No. All right. All right. So I got rid of the. Well, I didn't get rid of anything. I pulled down the stairs so I could get up here. Keep on thinking that uh, one of these will be a line of sight uh, gun uh, triggered line there. I feel that uh, I should be doing something here. And I, I should have retrieved something. 
That's on, that's on. I don't know. We will return here later. Ah, the bars have gone. I wonder... I, I don't know what triggered that. Oh, it's John Carmack. Oh, no, it's not. Ah! Fooled by Thatcher once again. That was like that bit in the Super Mario 64, wasn't it? When there's a... Uh, I've never played it to completion. But I remember that there was a portrait of, uh, I think it was uh, Princess Peach at one end of the corridor that slowly turned into King Koopa, Bowser. Oh, that's an ugly pain elemental. The Pain Elemental's a bit neutered when all the Lost Souls are uh, so weak. And that's a very good thing! Right, so I'm 100% uh, taking advantage of these bars to execute the Revenants before they have a chance to get out. Right. I'm wondering if uh, the pedestals that I'm finding with nothing on them are uh, are, that, are that a difficulty thing? Uh, are, are the keys uh, in less far flung areas on, on lower difficulties? I don't know. Ow, that was a bad one. Arch trial, arch trial. I'm just glad he hasn't noticed me because uh, there'd be no way to be able to get him from here. I don't think it hurt him at all, did it? Again, amazing. Uh, Taking the level through indoor and outdoor areas. interesting uh, little bit there because it doesn't use any new textures but it was clear enough to me anyway that that would open the door because well obviously there's a wire going to it and uh, just because it, it was made to look like something you might encounter in GoldenEye or something Is that an arch oil? Seems to be just uh, spinning around Oh, I'm, I'm not paying attention. Let's just run. Right, that worked perfectly. Come on, come on, go. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're blue as well. Uh. Alright. Let's see, how can I get rid of you really quickly? Let's 
Well, not like that. Oh, it's very slightly slower than the rocket launcher. Can't quite get as many uh, rockets into the Archvile's face as you could before. British Gauss Gun. I don't even know what Gauss Gun is, to be honest. British or otherwise. Oh. oh I'm glad that uh, they have the, the aiming skills of uh, Nazis in the Indiana Jones films. That's an absolutely hilarious thing to me. Um, oh yeah, there's Margaret Thatcher's face, okay. I was trying to interpret the uh, various things overlaid onto it. Oh, do I still have the... Oh, I do have that control set up, and I can't use it in this... <laughs> I, sorry, I gave up on that sentence because it's such a rubbish joke. I can't use it on this one because the lady's not for turning. If you're still here, let's carry on. Ah, got the sticky toffee pudding at last. I didn't even realise it was uh, leading me back to here. That's a uh, quite clever level design. Oh, I'm outside, okay. I'm outside of the E1M1 bit. Independent tropical whales. Uh, I'm afraid I don't I don't know what that's referencing either. Let's run through it. Ah! Excuse me. I just reminded myself of one of uh, Dennis Norden's programs. Uh, the, uh, there's an Australian newsreader who does the most Australian thing ever during a, a broadcast. He just turns over his shoulder and says, Would you please shut up for Christ's sake? I'm on air! And then he just turns back and says, Sorry about that. Aha! British Gauss Gun is a plasma gun, and it's also the longest uh, that something made in Britain has ever lasted. Oh no, 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 no! Nice use of, uh, nice use of, uh, building up anticipation by letting you know there's an arch file here somewhere, but we're not going to tell you where he is. Uh, there's an invisible barrier here, I can't go over it.
Wow, he was quick. Well, that's a good plasma gun. It's getting uh, hits of 56 on it in rapid fire. Uh oh. I don't like the sound of what's in there! Now they can't really do anything to me. From their current position. Just want to make sure they don't uh, get the opportunity. Trying to, uh, I'm trying to decide on the tactic. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> It's got more than It's got. Sorry. As I was struggling to say, it's got more than that. Oh, hold on a second, Cyber Demon. I've got, I've got to get some cells first. That's a nasty surprise. Thatcher demon. Well, what's going on here? Oh, I suppose it's the is it the flag shadow? Yeah, okay. All right, we're back in a good position. Um all right, I took a look in the editor and I found it, but I don't like it. Uh, you see these Union Jacks? They are disguised Commander Keens. And being a disguised Commander Keen means that when all of them are gone, flag uh, tag 666 opens up. So I think that would have been uh, possibly easier to see if I'd... Uh, been playing with auto aim on or in boom itself and uh, I'd have got that but anyway wow that's new shall we see what this does oh, I think that's a moderately more powerful BFG Zap, 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 zap. And the trouble with my uh, introducing new concepts rule or guideline uh, is that you can't uh, you can't do anything unless all the flags are gone. So you can't have a practice run, trapping the player in a room first, and then just getting rid of that flag. It has to be all or nothing. I love the, I love the bunting.
Ooh. I'm just standing here and taking fireballs. Oh, I'll have that. Oh! Maybe I won't. At least I got the armor. Alright. Oh. You know what? I'm starting again. Here we go. Oh, still better than last time. I'm just uh, crawling my way along here, desperately trying to find what uh, weapons I have ammunition for. Oh yes, okay, that's better. Glad I didn't uh, save after wasting all that ammunition. It's, uh, it's been a day since I uh, recorded the last part of this video, so uh, forgive me if I'm disoriented. I must have come from this way already, so uh, let's uh, head back here. Whoa, okay, that's new. Oh, hello. Go, get yeah, lost, you. Tory bastard. <laughs> a lot of things opening here. A lot of things opening that I'd rather not open. Okay, so that didn't open. It was just coincidence that I heard something opening. Hmm. Well, there's something there. The Revenant's blue trousers. I think it's a good look for him. Oh, fuck I. All right. I've been avoiding commenting on this uh, symbol here because I can't remember what it means. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'll feel very guilty once I once I remember. But sometimes things just escape you when you're recording a video and then you have to look slightly stupid. There's a lot of enemies around here and I'm uh, avoiding most of them. Oh, maybe not anymore. What now? Oh, it's those, uh, it's the skull pillars. Oh, wait a minute. I've, uh, <laughs> I've come from that way. Then there? And does that let me get up here? It does. Okay. Ah! Didn't see them coming. Go. 
Ah! Nothing. I sometimes get uh, hit so hard that I spontaneously turn into a rabbit down in the uh, status bar. Because presumably not all the uh, HUD images are replaced because it wouldn't be necessary to get the ones where he wasn't uh, standing there with a cigarette in his mouth. I love that the night vision goggles in uh, GZ Doom show Spectres. I think it, I think that's a great addition to its uh, usefulness. Not that way. I went up. Th ah, yeah, okay. Oh wow, okay. Where do? Oh, I uh, get lost, will you? Don't scare me with these decorative arch vials. <laughs> this <laughs> the whole thing is it, just amazingly ostentatiously ridiculous. There's invulnerability over there. Whenever I feel like uh, I need it. Oh, speaking of which, how far through this are we? Oh, we're not even halfway! Barely a third of the way through. Kibuses. Oh. How do I get out of here then? Maybe I don't. The mancubuses, looking like buses, have uh, rocket boots. I just remember. I just noticed. Is this chain gun more accurate than the stock Doom one? I think it is. I'm not doing my uh, usual tapping. My goodness, there are a lot of you out there. I love when the lifts have these uh, inset bits that rise with the lift. I think that's a great piece of decoration. Okay, here we go. What was that? Oh yeah, that was the uh, the Thatcher demon. All right. Received a hand aid. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But what did it do? What was the hand aid?
Was that was that hundred armor? Could have been. That's good. Hit them diagonally. Where did that come from? Hit them diagonally so that the uh, BFG can spread across them all. Where am I now? Okay. Oh, BFG in there as well. That's a nice top up for ammunition. Ah. The let an Arachnushon get him uh, death message implies a bit more agency than I think I have in these situations. Wow, oh, the chain gunner as well. Quite desperately in need of more health here. Oh, there are too many chain gunners around. <laughs> more than none, there's too many chain gunners. But I do love some of these monster edits in this. I'm still not entirely sure if I'm meant to be jumping in this or not. Still. Oh, was this just to sort of uh, give me a barrier that I completely ignored? <laughs> Some shell string there. Oh, but I can't. Uh, I can't go over it. Oh, fuck out. Yes. That is uh, exactly the boost that I needed. It's a bit weird that sometimes there are these invisible barriers and sometimes there aren't. You know, when I first played Doom, when I was, uh, uh, however old I was, I was, 12 or something, um, I thought that a chain gun was pistol-sized. It was just, uh, it just had this rotating thing on the end that made it uh, fire faster, but it's not. It's, uh, it's, uh, imagine a fridge. It's, uh, I'm not sure why it's called a minigun. Actually, I do know why it's called a minigun when it's really a bit of a maxi size. Because uh, it's only mini compared to the same thing mounted on a helicopter. <laughs> All right. I could get hit by these missiles, it doesn't matter. Because here is a megasphere. I'm not too trustful of that thing saying exit. Weird, isn't it? Having this big arrow on the ground. I suppose it's uh, to make sure you don't just fly off the uh, fly off the edge here. But you could have solved that by just putting the 
Switch right ahead of me instead. Here we go. Landed right on the swing. Oops. Ah! I was doing really well! Wankers. Alright. That's better. How many more is it going to take? There we go. I'm tapping it off my head. Got taller since the last time I played. Oh. That's already on. Fell into the, uh, I don't know what they're doing, probably grinding the bones of miners. That looks interesting. Well, shockingly, I don't even need that. All right, where's the other one? Uh, that one. That, I saw another exit switch over there. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Sorry, it fell off. Alright, is this where the other thousand monsters are? Oh dear. There's a spider master thatcher. Spider thatcher mind. <laughs> I forgot how funny this was. I wonder how they came up with mind laban. Because it's. I wondered if it was uh, some exclamation of surprise in Germany, like a colloquial swear word that uh, doesn't literally mean what it says. But I, I, I can't find anyone saying it apart from this is this is the sound effect from Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, Might be time to go back for that uh, supercharge soon. Bloody hell. Oh, is there another one? Or did I just not uh, get rid of it? That's the wrong place. Uh. 
Okay, there we go. Just take a few weeks to change weapons and, uh... need a hand out there. Oh, it's a, it's a, I think it's a big box of, well it was a big box of bullets, but I don't know. Give me the backpack. All right, after all that uh, showing off, we're back in a very Doom 1 style tech base now. All right, we're much closer to the end now. That was a very populous fight. It's a bit weird that I can't go through this glass, but uh, I can shoot through it. Obviously, I've been here before. How about the other side? Oh yeah, that came around to here, didn't it? All right, it's been a while since I was here. Um. Where now? <laughs> ah! Don't do that again, please. Oh, so that's not a Commander Keen. Uh, so some flags are different! Hmm. Yeah, I was, I was sure I'd seen other flags before those in the level, which is why I was... Uh, I didn't find them remarkable. I'm trying to... I'm trying to think of a, a better way to do that. Maybe make the flags more in your field of vision. Dot them around the outside where they're likely to be uh, hit by the uh, splash damage from, or, or the uh, collateral damage from a shotgun if you're getting the demons on the outside. Something like that would work. Right, so obviously uh, I'm, I'm meant to go this way. I see it, I see it. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <gasps> Good surprise with the uh, the imps coming out of the walls behind you as well. They, they must be tagged to the same place. Oh, hello. Oh wow, this, it 
fits together so well. I love it. Uh, maybe I won't go that way just yet. <laughs> Where's this go? Oh, right, so this is back in the uh, nuclear bunker. Oh! I thought I was quite good at reacting there. But uh, the game didn't, obviously. Oh, got me the other one. All right. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Ah, uh, barely clinging onto it. Where am I going now? <laughs> Sorry, I was disappointed that the world's most obvious secret wasn't a secret. Oh yeah, the uh, the countdown, the ten. Oh thanks. Oh, that cyber demon can certainly fire a few rockets more than the, the original one. That was rather good. Sorry, I thought there were more of it. <laughs> ah, complete mess. like these more thought to be lost souls. They're annoying, but they're not uh, they're not the threat that they are in most Doom mods. Where are you all coming from? Alright, 300 more monsters to go, it's uh, barely anything. That's got to be the Icon of Sin. There have been a few Icon of Sin looking things, but uh, I think that this is it. Wow! Oh, she's got her hands out here as well. are those? Oh, they're the, uh, those are the spawn cubes. I suppose I've just got to keep on killing these things until I work out what to do. I have to find many more of these switches. Didn't want to take that Megasphere because I was uh, so full up already, but uh, 
I won't get back missing it if that continues to go up. Did I get it? Nope, didn't see anything. So a lot of spawning going on. And not enough slaughtering. Uh, so what am I thinking now? What did that switch do? Oh, I didn't press it. Just step into the light. Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, times. <laughs> I don't think that sucked at all, but wasn't it? Entering Margaret Thatcher. Uh, let's let's not go there. Lord Nelson, Lord Beaverbrook, Sir Winston Churchill, Sir Anthony Eden, Clement Attlee, Henry Cooper. We have beaten them all. We have beaten them all. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Can you hear me? Margie Thatcher, your boys took a hell of a beating. That's a famous uh, football commentary when, um, I think it, it was Spain or Brazil, or I, I can't remember, uh, beat England. And uh, the uh, commentator <laughs> took the chance to say that uh, we'd beaten the whole country. What now? Uh oh. What the world needs is an iron lady. No. No. Yes. Margaret Thatcher is dead again. Once you beat Thatcher and Cleavate or Tech Base, you're supposed to win, aren't you? Aren't you? Where's your reward and ticket home? What the hell is this? It's not supposed to end this way. Oh well, looks like you're stuck in the shores of hell and the only way it is through. Wait, is that Reagan over there? Well done. Oh, <laughs> What a, 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 a horribly nostalgic rod. I feel that uh, I didn't... Uh, I must. There must have been a lot of it I didn't see because I was missing so many monsters. But I, I love a lot of these edits. Imp had an icy makeover. Demon was. Uh, I'm not sure how many of them are just palette swaps and how many had uh, different behavior attached. L O B E. Plus, uh, is there is there going to be M B E? Baroness. Of course, it's a baroness. Arachnatron is largely unchanged. Pain Elemental. I did I did like those we had ourselves. Revenant. The Mancubus with rocket feet. Oh, I saw Lang Simon in the background. And the Eye Trial. And 
Cyber Thatcher Mark II. <laughs> Wow. And uh, our hero bested the demons on Phobos and Deimos and the uh, heart of hell and the icon of sin and worst of all, Margaret Thatcher. In one of Nigel Reese's books, uh, these uh, overheard quotes, he, one, he overheard one parent genuinely saying to a child that if you don't start behaving, Margaret Thatcher will come and get you. And if you don't, if you don't keep playing Doom Mods, Margaret Thatcher will come and get you as well. Sleep well.